I have a maker. Reformata et semper reformanda. Reformed yet always reforming. This is not only what the church is doing, but uh, what the songs of the church must always be doing. That they are new and fresh, and yet uh, for the next generation, we always have to make it fresh. So, uh, you know, we've looked at uh, some hymns from the long past. Uh, what about uh, that are not quite as long past? Let's look at some. Let's think about uh, how great thou art. Oh Lord my God. When I, now, I don't know how it strikes you, but when you start into that verse, you sort of say to yourself, oh, this is going to be a long time. You know? I mean, it might be an old friend, and I like that, but this is going to be a long conversation with that old friend, especially if we're going to do multiple stanzas. However, nobody has a problem when we start singing. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. Given the right circumstance, in any case, it's strong, it's powerful. All right, so after 60 years, that chorus still works. The verse is not quite so well. Um, now, ironically, some people have taken that, put it to a, a new groove that sounds like it's faster, but actually it unfolds more slowly. But uh, because there's a drum and a driving guitar, um, it kind of works for us. Well, in any case, um, move forward another 30 years, and uh, we get to uh, Bill Gaither. Bill Gaither wrote so many popular choruses, but by the, the more current, younger generation, uh, they haven't even heard them. When they do hear them, they're not interested in them because it's, a, it's just a different style of music. It's a different sound than what they're used to or what they want to hear. And so uh, we might think, He Touched Me is a wonderful song, um, but... Uh, the answers are too easy and the chords are too uh, schmaltzy and uh, just the whole thing just doesn't work for the younger generation so it just didn't last like we might have thought it would Don Moen in the 1980s was tremendously popular and I thought some of his songs would last forever like God will make a way when there seems to be no way really good it's really strong but it's, it's it's keyboard driven it's a retrogression it takes a little bit of a long time something about it all sounds cheesy to those who were preschoolers at the time that it was uh, first being written and so those kinds of songs have just dropped off the face of the map because what we want is guitar right now is guitar driven songs that hardly have any chord change to them at all and uh, that's that's too much uh, too much harmonic activity. Like God will make a way, He will make a way. That's um, really hard. So though it was repetitive and singable, it uh, uh, was too complex harmonically. All right. So what of this generation is going to last? Here's the answer. Nobody knows. Couldn't predict it. I am nonetheless going to predict that how great is our God, sing with me how great is going to last. Why? Well, because in the first place, it's got great theology. Uh, in the second place, the chorus anyways, incredibly simple, very singable. You can throw it into the mix of anything that you're doing, and it'll be singable. We start on tonic, we do five, three, two, one. Those are the only notes. And the words, how great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, all we'll see, how great, how great is our God, that's all there is. And then you can add the second uh, chorus in order to add some more uh, variety and interest, and everybody already knows that, and that really works, okay? Another chorus that works that way is, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name, again, only so many words to it, uh, predictable, very simple, uses three, two, one, and five as the uh, melody. Uh, that's going to work. That particular tune is going to work. And again, you can throw it into anything and have it work. Sort of like that chorus of, then sings my soul. I mean, it's just going to, that part will work. Um, however, the fatal flaw of 
How great is our God? How great is our God? Is the verse. The splendor of a king. In the first place, uh, the theology is just terrific. It's really deep. But that's its problem. And the chords are rich. It's rather complex. But that's its problem as far as living into the future. Um, and it goes a little bit slow, and there's some repetition, and we're not quite sure with the very last line, da 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 da, or ba da 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 da, because it depends on which performance you're following, or you know whether it's the first or second verse. So I think uh, people will sing the chorus, but maybe don't want to go into that heavy verse. Um, they'll just they'll just want to do the chorus. In any case, um, uh, as we're trying to write. Uh, choruses that are going to last. All we can do is write what works today and then think in terms of is it going to be simple enough and workable enough and you know up-tempo that it's going to work for another generation. We couldn't begin to predict three or four generations from now. But there are so many factors into what's going to make something great and what's going to make it last that it's going to take yet another session for us to talk through that. And uh, we will do that. And he knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees.